In this training, we're going to do an introduction to automations inside of SmartSuite. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Here we are inside of a SmartSuite solution. In this case, it's called the Test Use Case Solution, and I might want to build an automation. In order to do that, I click on the solution heading itself and scroll on down to the automations option here. Once I select automations, it's going to open up the automation panel where I can build an automation that will automatically perform whatever tasks I assign to it inside of my tool here. The building blocks of automation are as follows. An automation requires a trigger to initiate an automation. Following the trigger, it will have one or more action steps. And those action steps are the things that the automation will do every time it's iterated. So think of the trigger as the thing that initiates the automation and awakens it. And then once it's been initiated, it will perform its steps based on the actions within the automation itself. So let's take a quick look at how we would build one. For example, we might say that we want to trigger an automation whenever a record is updated. So we first have to tell SmartSuite what app we're going to look at. We're not going to watch all of our apps. It's a specific app inside of SmartSuite that we want to watch. So what app is that? And then we can add our conditions. Maybe we want to say that certain things happen inside of this app. And when those changes occur, that is what's going to initiate our automation. So in this case, we might say that our status is equal to in process. So now whenever a record inside of our test to app meets these conditions, that is the status is equal to in process. Whenever that happens, that record then will initiate this automation. That's exactly how a trigger works. The next part of this is to add an action. So maybe we want to create a new record in a different app. Maybe we want to send an email to somebody to let them know that that status was updated. You can explore all the different possibilities for smart suite automation just by clicking into the automations panel and experimenting with them for yourself. If I wanted to, in this case, send an email, I could simply set this up pretty quickly. Certain fields are going to be required. Those required fields will be denoted by these asterisks. I can either pull information from the record that triggered the automation. In this case, I'm accessing information from the trigger by hitting this plus button, or I can hard code an email address in here. So maybe I just want to say, I want to send it to myself at this email address. The email subject, maybe it changes every time and I want to include the title of this particular record. So I can access that field and bring that information in. The key takeaway here is that in my automation actions, I'm using a split of static and dynamic data. Static data is always the same and I hard code it. In this case, I hard coded my email address, whereas dynamic data changes every time. The title of this particular record that triggered the automation will always be different, but it will always be the subject line. So the subject line will always change every time the automation is iterated. Go ahead and fill out all of the required fields in that step of the automation. And when you're done, click add automation. Once you've done this, be sure to come into the upper left corner and turn an automation on. Otherwise it's never going to be doing anything for you. There's a lot to unpack inside of automations. So check out all the additional training materials SmartSuite has built around this. If you have any questions about what we covered in this training, please ask them below in the comments section of this video. And until then, we'll see you in the next training.